Chinese researcher He Zhang Kwai claimed to have made the world's first genetically edited babies. He altered the DNA of twin girls to try to make them resistant to infections with the HIV and AIDS virus, despite this practice being illegal and many scientists being against it in the first place. Scientists now have a tool that could alter you before you are born. It's called CRISPR. Clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. Sorry, did we lose you there? We have the facts. Your body is amazing. It's constantly fighting off illnesses, mutating, and rebuilding itself. And CRISPR takes advantage of all of that. So when viruses are killed off, your body collects and stores remnants of the virus's DNA. Your body uses the virus's DNA to quickly identify, then eliminate the virus if it returns. So now, scientists discovered that if you have a trait for a disease, they can tell CRISPR to cut out those sequences from your DNA. Here's how it works. Cas9, or CRISPR-associated protein 9, is an enzyme that acts like a pair of itty-bitty scissors that can cut two strands of DNA at a specific location. Typically, our body uses Cas9 to identify and destroy invaders, but scientists can create guide RNA to show Cas9 exactly where to cut in a DNA sequence. The cell then tries to repair the DNA, but scientists alter the DNA to include their changes, and the gene editing is done. Pretty exciting, right? But what can scientists use CRISPR for? They can use it for curing disease, genetic mutations, stopping bad inherited genes like Huntington's and Tay-Sachs, saving endangered and extinct species, and creating healthier food from meat to vegetables, to name a few. The dark side of CRISPR uses are unknown mutations, super diseases and viruses, increased risk of cancer, and biological attacks, not to mention the ethical arguments over designer babies. Because of this, gene editing is illegal in most places in the world, including China. And even then, Zhang Kwai went along with the procedure. Zhang Kwai said he's altered embryos for seven couples in fertility treatments, but only one had pregnancy results, twin girls. There will be someone somewhere who's doing this. If it's not me, it's someone else. Mainstream researchers and the bulk of the scientific community have called his science project irresponsible and denounced it as human experimentation. Scientists opt for going slow until this genome editing is deemed completely safe. And some consider that any genome editing could have unintended consequences for future generations. Despite all the preemptive worry, scientists feel confident that by the time that you head to the doctor for some gene editing to wipe away your ailments, they'll have it all ironed out. Well, let's hope so.